Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to Needs of Children. We are discussing about 8th standard English medium social science in that economics chapter number 3 national income and sectoral aspects of the Indian economy. Let's come to the what are the very important learning points from this lesson. In this chapter you learn the concepts of national and per capita incomes, the growth of Indian economy through the growth of different sectors, the importance of small scale industries in India, identify the reasons for agricultural distress and to study remedial measures. So let's come to the, we are going to get the more information about this concept. Among that, the first concept, national and per capita income. We all work to earn income. That's our daily routine. Obviously, to lead our life, to satisfy our needs, we all work to earn income. Our prosperity or poverty depends on the income we earn. So, that is also how much we are earn based on the prosperity or Poverty depends upon the, our income. This is true of a country also. Not only for individual, even it is depends upon the country also. So, obviously, higher the income generated in a country, most, more prosperous, more prosperous the country and vice versa, which country it is going to be earn less income Obviously, it stands in the poor. You may have wondered why some countries are very poor, like Kenya, for example, and why some uh, why some are rich, example like USA. Similarly, while some are growing at faster rate, like China, best example for fast growing country, others are lagging behind. Example of African countries are the best example for the lagging behind countries. Even the African countries are less developed despite having the rich natural resources. When compared to in the words of the other countries, African countries, they have the rich deposits, natural deposits, even though still they are backward countries. Thus, it is not mere the possessions of natural resources that decides the level of development but also how far these resources are converted into useful goods and services for generating income and wealth that is also it's not the way or a matter of a country how much it is deposit deposited the resources how they make utilizes availability of the resources based on that converted into useful goods and services for the generating income and wealth. National income refers to the total value of goods and services produced annually in a country. That is the concept of national income. National income once again refers to the total value of goods and services produced annually in a country. According to one of the economists defines that Simon Kuznets has defined national income as the net output of commodities and services flowing during the years from the country's productive system in the hands of the ultimate consumers. So like that it is defined by the one of the economist name called as Simon Kuznets. Once again national income according to Simon Kuznets the net output of commodities and services flowing during the year from the country's productive system in the hands of the ultimate consumers is called as national and per capita income. Since ultimately individuals are recipients of income the total income occurring to a country from economic activities in years time is known as national income once again the total 
income accruing to a country from economic activities in a year's time is known as national income. Majorly, it includes payments made to all individuals in the form of wages, in the form of interests, rent and profits. So, this is also it is become as a someone's income for others. Naturally, national income indicates the size of the country's productive system, value of consumption, savings and investments made in various sectors as well as its transactions with other countries. That is also it is recognized as a national income. It indicates the size of country's productive system, value of consumption, savings and investments made in various sectors as well as its transactions with other countries. However, unlike the measurement of individual income, the measurement of nation's income is very difficult in involves complex produce. However, unlike measurement of individual income, the measurement of a nation's income is very difficult and involves complex procedure. So, here are some of the measuring the level and rate of growth of national income is important for observing. Among that, the rate of economic growth, changes in average living standards and the third one, changes in the distribution of income. So, these are some of the uh, measuring level and rate of growth of a nation income is important observing. So, till now we get the concept about the national income. Let us come to the what is the concept of per capita income. The average income of the people of a country in a particular year is called as per capita income. We can say as a individual income. Per capita income, it is a average income of the people in a country. A particular year is called as per capita income. Per capita income uh, for that year, for instance, in order to find out the per capita income of 2011. The national income of a country in 2011 is divided by the population of that country in that year. So, particularly if you are going to be identified according to 2011 census or per capita income of 2011, we can get it with the help of the formula per capita income in 2011 divided is equals to national income in 2011 divided by population in 2011. We will get the exact population. Here it is. Now we are going to be get the per capita income in 2011. So, that is equals to national income in 2011 divided by population in 2011. With this formula, we are going to be get the per capita income of any country. Per capita income help us to know the average income and the standard of living of the people. But it is not very liable because in every country distribution of national income is unequal and a major portion of it goes to the richer sections of the society. That is the major drawback of the per capita income. So, it is not reable because in every country distribution of national income is unequal and a major portion of it goes to the richer sections of the society. The income received by common man is lower than the per capita income. So, here is national and per capita income of India. When compared to our India, what is the national income as well as the per capita income? In India, the Central Statistical Organization, CSO, the Central Statistical Organization estimates and publishes the national income data of our India. So, here is the table. The trends in national per capita income of India are presented in a table. So, this table which is highlight about the national income of and per capita income of India 
are presented in a table. The national income of India has grown from rupees uh, 2,69,724 crore in the year 1950-51, whereas to rupees 94,266 crore in 2014 and 15 at constant 2011 and 12 prices. Whereas this indicates more than 34 times rise over 65 years. However, this growth has neither been uniform nor steady during this period. The per capita income has also increased almost 10 times from uh, rupees 7513 to rupees 74193 during the same period. So, the trends of the national and per capita income of India, it is presented as we already identified that is in the table. And here are some of the, the World Bank's assessment of Indian economy will provide the information like India's national income crossed the dollar 1 trillion mark in 2014 after taking 60 years to reach the dollar 1 trillion mark. India added the next trillion in just 7 years. The Indian economy at dollar 2.06 2.06 trillion has more than undropped from the start of this millennium. That is some the World Bank's assessment of our Indian economy. Whereas the second point it will give that the World Bank data also show that India's per capita income rose to $1610 around rupees 1 lakh a year during 2014. It would take India a little more than two decade to rise from its current lower middle in income category to the upper middle income level. And the third point it will highlight about that India's growth rate at 7.4% in 2014 makes it the faster growing major economy along with China. So this is about the today's information, today's session. I hope you have understood till now what we are uh, discussed. In case if you are having any doubts related to this concept, you can comment in the comment box. I will solve your doubts and I will come back with the next video. Until keep watching my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next session. Bye-bye. Take care.